Greetings, fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you that the universe is speaking to you at every moment. Whether we listen or not, that's a matter of personal choice. One lesson I have learned on my journey is not to kill the messenger. To explain this, I'm reflecting upon a period from my earlier years where I would see validation from particular people in my life. Since I was so focused on these particular people's validation, I missed the validation that the universe was consistently providing me. Uh, thinking back to a time when I wrote music, I wanted the people that I looked up to to acknowledge me. All the while, I was brushing off the compliments of those who recognized my ability. So in hindsight, the universe has given me more validation than I can imagine for myself. That essentially leads me to the next point. When we see a limitation in life, at some point we understand that we are responsible for removing it. That's simple, but not, <laughs> not always easy. Some people will refer to it as a test, but I see it as opportunity for growth. It's, that's really the uncomfortable truth about reality. To embrace this concept is life changing though. It puts you in a whole new frame of reference for who you are and what you're experiencing. When I was younger, I was convinced that the purpose of life was to get to a comfortable position and maintain it. But luckily, time showed me that that idea of life is not the goal. Maybe for some. I don't believe it's sustainable. I believe the goal is to continuously expand yourself and feed the spirit within you. Now, the expansion can happen in any area that you see fit. That's, the, that's really the beauty of it all. It doesn't have to be this thing or that thing. It's whatever you put your focus to. So, essentially, we are the determining factor. Us alone. There is no right way. It's simply our way. Now, a question that you may ask yourself, just as I did, is... How do I know what I want? <laughs> the only answer I can give you is trust yourself. I mean, doubt is guaranteed. And that's within you and outside of you. You will doubt yourself. Other people will doubt you as well. But knowing this will allow you to explore the various aspects of who you are within. So take a moment. And take note of how you speak to yourself. Like, how does your inner voice sound? For me, it was a uh, what nice. That close observation, I started to notice a theme. I wasn't speaking to myself out of love; it was with disdain. I was criticizing myself, overly critical of myself. Yeah, it was tough. One thing that the exercise did show me, though, it showed me the tone of my inner talk. And once I recognized it, I could see how that same tone impacted my outside world. I was merciless with myself. And in that, the outside world was merciless with me. So I thought, so I perceived. I see it in an idea in my brain and nourish it by being overly self-critical, overly judgmental. That manifested in my outside world. So much so it brought me to a point of revelation. It brought me to that point where, hey, something has to yield. Because no matter where I go on this earth, there I am, and there's the same problem. So I must be the problem. Over time of reflecting on the way I spoke to myself, 
I learned to give myself the gift of grace. And by sharing this story, I really, really hope that I encourage you to do the same in some shape, form, or fashion. So overall, this journey is growth inspired. It's not about being better than anyone, but the person that we used to be. With those things said, thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing me a space to share my thoughts. And I encourage you to share yours as well. Thank you for your time. And until our next conversation, be blessed.